A rare moment of criticism directed toward Israel from the U.S. State Department Monday. It's simply not the way that partners and allies uh, treat each other. The administration is not criticizing Israel for what it's doing in Gaza, but for criticizing Secretary of State John Kerry's efforts to get a ceasefire, saying Israel changed its bottom line and that Kerry was pushing a proposal they had already agreed to. The Egyptian proposal accepted by the Israeli cabinet did not make any mention of demilitarization or of tunnels or of rockets. That was not in the, the uh, proposal from two weeks ago that the Israeli cabinet approved. Israel's ambassador to the U.S. made clear at a gathering of Jewish leaders in Washington Israel will not change course. Israel will destroy the tunnels we have found and we will not stop until that job is done. Prominent writers close to Israel are starting to warn its leadership it could be on the verge of losing the support of the American people. Television news has been showing these scenes of devastation and heartbreak. So pro-Israeli government groups are trying to recapture the narrative. Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel. Countering these pro-Palestinian rallies from the last few days with their own in New York. Assembling their most powerful members in Washington, they were reassured by politicians from both parties. A terrorist is a terrorist. And we should be very clear about that. Hamas is evil. Innocent life lost is a terrible tragedy. And in this case, there must be no doubt who bears the responsibility for civilian deaths, and that, of course, is Hamas and its sponsor, Iran. The Obama administration sent the National Security Advisor, Susan Rice, to speak. She promised to double the funding for the Iron Dome missile defense system in 2015 and to send an additional $220 million this year. She called for a ceasefire, but she didn't call on Israel to make concessions to get one. The only criticism of Israel's actions in Gaza was from the sole protester who briefly interrupted.